Okay, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Um, this is about probably our third attempt at um, Google Hangout on YouTube, and it's getting better as we go along. Today I wanted to talk about um, the sensationalism of synthetic drugs, and uh, I wanted to bring a little information to uh, parents and, and hopefully to the young people who may be considering using synthetic drugs. Um, I know my time of diddy bopping when you when you you know hustled long enough you begin to wonder why people even use the drug to start with so in 2012 you find a lot of the old hustlers are now addicted to the drugs that they used to sell because they ask the simple question why do people come back to get this stuff and thinking since they are a seller that they won't get addicted to the drug. You try crack, you try PCP or heroin, and you get addicted to it the first time out of the gate. So I wanted to talk about a little bit about the synthetic drug uh, sensationalism on m the television via the media and the internet. Sensationalism means that it is overblown in a sense. Um, not so, like uh, for example, calling uh, people who use bath salt and get high off of bath salt saying that they are zombies, uh, uh, the zombie apocalypse and things of that nature begin to frighten some people and, uh, and, it, and it begins to um, make the young people who think them, that they are invincible want to try the drug because we are always running after another high after another high. So what you're seeing in the media now it's a lot of people out of control, a lot of people being shot, a lot of police saying they tried everything they could. We tased them. They they didn't go down. Well, when I was on the street and a person was uh, very um, inebriated, very uh, they were high off of alcohol or beer and you would see these people fight. I saw one fight where a gentleman actually, I mean, he beat this guy and he rammed his head into the wall, brick wall. This guy got right back up. He wasn't fighting, but he wouldn't fall either. You can get that type of uh, high from a um, alcoholic beverage. And now you have these synthetic drugs that are being designed to heighten and heighten all of your senses. And you have these movies that are actually sensationalizing the designer drugs. Um, 50 Cent has one, is, is starring in one called 12. If you, I wanted to show these things, but I'm, I'm, I'm using um, the, trying the Google Hangout and everything that I put on here, unfortunately, is shown in reverse. But 50 Cent is, is in a movie, and that movie is entitled 12. I'll see if I can, I, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I'm going to try to do it. Um, okay. Um, let me, do, I'm going to do a trick, quant, uh, quick transition. So it's going to be something up on the screen and it may come in uh, backward. So we're going to see. Okay, it shows up straight on the screen. That's good. With this particular movie right here. 50 Cent is in this movie and it's entitled 12. And um, in this movie, he's introducing this new designer drug and, and everybody wants to try it. And uh, it's mostly a drug that is given to uh, upper class, um, upper class uh, people who have money. And, it, you know, it's something that you should look at because this is a sensationalization of designer drugs. And it's, it's not the first movie. Here you have another one, 21 Jump Street, which sensationalizes and makes fun of uh, synthetic drugs. And this other one here, Limitless, which not only sensationalizes the, uh, the synthetic drug market, but Limitless actually shows how over time this gentleman in the middle learns how to uh, manipulate the drug so well that he actually controls the drug and makes himself super intelligent, super smart, you know, one step ahead of everyone. And um, from what I'm reading about bath salt, it was once used. Uh, I want to read it directly from the from the um, from the source. It says that um, synthetic cathinones and cathinones are stimulants synthetic cathinones such as mephedrone which are chemically similar to cathinone naturally found in plants kathy edu edulis or cat was first synthesized in the 1920s so this drug we're talking about um uh bath salt 
the ingredients in bath salt was actually um, being utilized since the 1920s. It says they remain obscure until the first decade of the 21st century when they were rediscovered by underground chemists and began to be used in designer drugs as the compounds were legal in many jurisdictions. Now, the designer drug market from marijuana to uh, bath salts and many other types of drugs have been legalized and, and they're able to be found in uh, corner stores and things of that nature. But the president of the United States has actually issued and signed into law uh, with the um, Food and Drug Administration, if I'm not mistaken, that now it is illegal to um, to it is illegal to purchase or sell synthetic drugs, and they're putting very very stiff sentences on people who are found selling. Um, um, synthetic drugs. Now here is a um, headline that says DEA sees more than 336 million and arrests 91 in crackdown on sellers of designer drugs. Now these drugs are designed in a laboratory. You can say underground or overground or whatever but these drugs are designed in a laboratory and made to attack the um, the uh, pleasure center of the brain. Same thing done with crack, PCP, and heroin. All designer drugs. And if you want to uh, get very technical about it, those children who are suffering from ADHD and things of that nature, you know what they label it as, are actually now being uh, uh, given drugs that have similar effects. I, I don't know if you will be able to see the um, the articles that I have posted up, the writing is kind of blurred because of the program we're using. But I have some highlighted uh, information from the New York Daily News where it talks about um, uh, how they're uh, putting into law these new laws. And these laws will eventually begin to uh, mimic the same drug laws that, that uh, follow crack and marijuana and other drugs of that nature. But um, it says that these... Uh, I, it's so small, I really can't read it, but I wanted to. The, it, oh, it tells in the yellow area, it talks about the effects of the drug in this area right here. So if you're able to read that, you can click on that and, and read the information about the effects of the drug. And the things that the thing that is uh, we want to warn parents about when it comes to your children is that these synthetic drugs cannot be um, detected in the system. From what I've read, um, the the uh, f the drug administration is only uh, able to test for 40 of the 100 chemicals that are in these synthetic drugs. And what is happening is that people can't pass. I mean, people are passing drug tests. People, the the drug is not being detected in the system, and so. Uh, now our children have found another way, along with the cinnamon thing and any other thing they can think of to try to get a, a, a uh, get stimulated by. Here is something else on the market. But the uh, thing that I wanted to um, point out and warn people about is that the sentences for synthetic drugs and synthetic drug paraphernalia are getting stiffer and stiffer. And eventually, it'll probably, within the next year or so, be to where you are, um, have a you end up with a felony on your record, and you're going to serve jail time. And as you serve jail time, you, you have these fines that are being uh, uh, pending against you that you can't pay. And as you're serving this jail time and these fines are, are accumulating, you will end up serving more and more jail time because of these drugs. But our children are looking for a super duper fast high. Uh, life has become somewhat boring. They don't want to uh, go, you know, day in and day out. So every five minutes, I need a twist. I need a hit. I need something. Um, hundreds of other designer drugs or legal highs have been reported, including artificial chemicals such as synthetic cannabis and semi-synthetic substances such as methohexamine. Methohexamine. Methohexamine is can be found in nasal decongestants. These drugs are primarily developed to avoid being controlled by laws against illegal drugs, thus giving them the label of designer drugs. Now, what we 
when I was, as I said, diddy bopping and, and you, you, on the street, you would find that they would spray raid on um, the chemicals in raid on um, marijuana, urinate on marijuana, uh, dip marijuana in formaldehyde, anything to get a, a higher high. And, event and eventually, most of the people started, uh, they didn't want to be labeled as a cracked addict. So what they would do is, cr is crumble up the crack or the, or the cocaine inside of the weed, what they call a woolly blunt, and smoke it that way. My point being that um, the side effects of uh, bath salts, the side effects of um, the side effects of um, synthetic drugs, is that um, the 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 high is okay, but coming down off of the high, you begin to become very aggressive. Your temperature rises, and that's why in most cases where you see these quote unquote sensationalized uh, zombies, they always don't have their clothes on. It's because they get so hot that, you know, they take off everything because their temperature rises, the heart rate rises, and they become delusional. And since you're sensationalizing the idea of a zombie, well, even the people using the drug are thinking themselves as such because it's been programmed in their minds. So the first thing they think of is, I eat you, and, you know, I, or, they, or you say, I thought they were going to eat me. They look like they weren't human, like they were a zombie. And this type of thing is sensationalized, but in actuality, it is the drug that is attacking the brain and the drug that attacks the kidneys. There was a report out that people who use bath salts one time actually lose complete uh, functionality of their kidneys and they're on dialysis for the rest of their life. So this stuff is just speeding up your um, aging process the same way that uh, crack, the same way that marijuana and all these other drugs are speeding up your, uh, you look older than you really are. You, you think you still look good because you got earrings and nice clothes on and, you know, and dreads and all of that, but you really look old and you're killing yourself. And the best way to avoid things like this is to not start it. Now, people, you know, you get a twist, you know, and, it's, and, and marijuana is legal in, in a lot of states now, and you just start passing around this weed. You don't know what they have, and they may have dipped it in that PCP water, and you smoking it, and now you, you get so high. Now that's not enough, so you need to continuously smoke this uh, a new brand of marijuana in order to stay stimulated and it is attacking the pleasure center of your brain. We're talking about synthetic drugs and the media sensationalization of the drugs and, uh, and, and how children in their reverse thinking Instead of saying, I'm going to stay away from that, the majority of them say, I got to get me some of that. that. That's that bomb. That's that real deal. That's that butt naked. You put a name on it, just like black folks been uh, humiliated by being called nigger and hang on trees. And now we just hanging and we call each other nigger. It's just a reversing process that makes you do the opposite of what you should be doing. And our young people need to begin to wake up to the realization that television, radio, the sensationalization of foolishness is going to affect you in a negative way in the long run. A lot of people are losing opportunities because of these new synthetic drugs and the idea that you are actually better, performing better, doing better. Most of you get high to write songs and you don't even know that most of them sound the same. And it says that bath salt cannot be smelled by detection dogs and will not be found in typical urinalysis. Although they can be detected in urine and hair analysis using gas uh, chromatography, mass spectrum, spectrometry, uh, mass spectrometry, distributors, distributors can camouflage the drug as everyday substances like fertilizer or insect repellent. Again, these are the substances that are used in people who smoke weed, these are some of the substances that they use. They mix the marijuana with fertilizer, they mix the marijuana with uh, uh, insect repellent, and you buy it and you get the highest high you ever got, but when you come down, you go chasing that high again, and that is a high that you will never get again. So what do you think is going to happen? You become an addict. It says that... Um,
I don't want to go through all of that. Um, but I did want to talk about the um, bath salt. It said bath salt contains synthetic stimulants that can cause chest pains, increase blood pressure, increase heart rate, agitation, hallucinations, extreme paranoia, and delusions. And I looked up the uh, drugs that are used for attention deficit disorder and almost the exact same effects that bath salt use. The drugs that are used for attention deficit disorder cause the same effects on the mind and the body. So these chemically designed synthetic drugs are being designed by people who know exactly what they're doing. It's not some uh, slapstick chemist that's just mixing up stuff and seeing what it does. These designer drugs are designed with pattern A and B that is a regular drug and they just add in a pattern C that attacks the uh, pleasure center of the brain and literally destroy it within a few weeks. And then you continuously looking for a high that you will never receive again. Uh, uh, Rudy Eugene's girlfriend, the one that they labeled as the, the zombie that ate the man's face, unfortunately, said he only smoked marijuana often. That's the only drug he ever used and never even wanted to take over-the-counter medication. He only smoked marijuana. There are hundreds of bath salt compounds, but toxicologists can only test for 40. So synthetic drugs, so no synthetic drugs was found in Eugene's body, but that's not saying that he was not high on some form of bath salt, maybe crushed in marijuana. So you only get one chance um, to make a mistake with these synthetic drugs and Actually, marijuana and any other drug has been synthetic for hundreds and hundreds of years because they were tested in laboratories and made more potent to affect the pleasure center of the brain. And just recently I saw on the news where a gentleman was shot and killed on 42nd Street in New York and he was wielding a knife and brass knuckles I, and supposedly they tried to tase him. And supposedly they tried to do other things, but he just wouldn't fall. He was shot at like, I don't know, 50 times or maybe less. But I think he was hit 12 times, seven times in the chest, one time in the groin, several times in the legs and the arms and was killed right there on 42nd Street. So now you see these people coming out of the woodworks doing these outlandish things and you label them as what? Oh, that them bath salt zombies. And you laugh about it, but you program your own mind to believe that that's what's happening to the people. Same thing with crack and calling people crackheads. You dehumanize them and make them less than human or a person with AIDS. You de dehumanize them and, uh, uh, and, and make them less than human so you don't feel the compassion that is necessary to feel for a person addicted to drugs. Um, bath salt is used as a, was used at one time as a concentration drug for people to study. And that movie that I showed you, Limitless, it is based on something similar to that. And it tells a whole story of the trials that you go through with synthetic drugs, but then at the end of the movie, it is sensationalized because this gentleman has on his Armani suit, he's now mayor of the city or whatever, his hair slicked back, and he's controlled the drug. And so these things are being fed to you, fed to you, fed to you, even in video games. The dangers of synthetic drugs and the sensationalization of what the drug is and what it does. This is the warning that we are given. Uh, brand names of, this, of these synthetic bath salts can be found in many different names. I don't want to say the names because I don't want to promote that part of it. But there are a lot of names for the drug and they are sold in specific places where they are now cracking down on and taking all the money, all the products, and, and, and putting the people in jail and making you almost like a debtor's prison. So we're talking about drugs. And for the people in the South, uh, probably about five, six years ago, the young people started using um, acid. The young black people, black children, started using ecstasy, and they were peddling these ecstasy pills. And for those parents who don't know about Skittles, you think your children talking about candy, but they're actually talking about taking all of the uh, prescription drugs out of the cabinet, putting them in a bowl, and just popping the pills to get high. I know many people in South Carolina that do this. I know many people that get high off of painkillers, people that get high off of different cough syrups mixed with this, that, and the other thing, because all of this stuff was sensationalized. We 
are a group of walking dead, but not zombies in the sense of flesh eaters, walking dead because brain cells are dying, the thought of self is dying, and most importantly, the soul is dying. So as the scripture states, um, God is love, we have no love. I know of a, a woman who was addicted to crack cocaine, and she was in uh, Minuteman Market, for those of you who are from the South. And um, I think she cut in line in front of someone, and the gentleman said, you know, don't worry about that. I still got love for you. And she said, I don't need your love. I don't need nobody to love me. So the feeling of love and soul and, and compassion is dying. So when you see people dying around you now, you don't care. You just label them as a zombie or a crackhead or a weed head, and you leave it there. And since it's not affecting you and your children, you have no desire to get to the root of the problem. We're talking about the sensationalization of synthetic drugs. We're coming to a close. Um, it says that bath salt can be swallowed, snorted, smoked, or injected. Same thing with every other drug, PCP, crack, whatever. It, it's it's going to be it's going to get in your body some way. Swallowing and snorting are the most common routes of administering bath salts. Are active at doses of three milligrams and five milligrams, with the average dose being five milligrams and twenty milligrams. The risk of overdose is high, however, since the packets often contain 500 milligrams suggested users use more than 50 milligrams on their first time out the gate so what you're talking about is a bunch of ignorant people adults and children who just take the stuff out and slap it on their marijuana and and just snort it sniff it eat it or whatever and don't know anything about measurement and their first time out of the gate they get into this um, a delusional high and, and you're going to strip your clothes off because you feel hot. I know when PCP was very popular, uh, they used to call it uh, something because people would actually pull all of their teeth out of their mouth with pliers because their teeth felt like something inside of their mouth that was crawling or whatever, and they would sit right there, strip butt naked, and pull all of their teeth out with pliers, break them off, pull them or whatever. So now you see crack addicts and stuff like that, no teeth. These are the things that are attacking the minds of the children. This is a commentary from Brother Johnny of Groove 19 Promotions. I hope that you will join us on Thursday on Facebook where we will continue with part five, uh, part five of Save the Babies entitled Born with a Broken Heart, The Making of a Sociopath and a Narcissist. That's 6 o'clock p.m. on Thursday on Facebook or you can join us on the 19report.weebly.com. We're looking forward to hearing from you. And my commentaries, I want them to be as simple as they are, as straightforward as they are. I want to keep it as simple and straightforward as can be so that no one can say they didn't understand. Again, synthetic drugs have been around since the 1920s um, uh, and later than that. Because in Vietnam, people came back so messed up in the head. Uh, I know the kamikaze pilots used to smoke heroin and all of that so that they would get hype and just crash into other planes and crash into other buildings. So this stuff is nothing new, but it's being sensationalized in movies. 21 Jump Street is the latest. And uh, they're making fun of the idea of selling it, but it's going to become an epidemic because people are looking for a way out. People are tired. They are tired of thinking all night, tired of not sleeping, and they're looking for an escape. And the sensationalization and the, and the media coverage of these drugs will give them an escape because most of the people will try it. For those that I diddy bop with in the streets, probably about two of us got out by God's permission without being addicted to street drugs. The rest stayed in and asked the question, why do people keep coming back for this drug? Let me try it and see what it's all about. And once you try it, you are addicted. The, the ones of us that did not get addicted did not escape the addiction, as you can read in my book on Amazon, uh, three-part book, um, Many Claim Call But Few Are Chosen. The title of the book is Few. Subtitle is Many Claim Call But Few Are Chosen. We, I escaped the, the illegal drugs, but I didn't escape painkillers. I was addicted to painkillers, and God freed me, Allah freed me of that addiction. So 
this is what we're dealing with. Everyone is looking for a way out. So to my children and to anyone else's children, you've got to get off of this stuff. There is no uh, way out of smoking one joint. You're going to want to smoke two to get extra high. And when the two don't work, you're going to three. And when the three don't work, you're going to four. Same thing with cigarettes. And they sensationalize this with great, great, great singers and actors like Bob Marley, who most of the people want to wear the headdress and the, and, the, and the dreads, but the only thing you can represent from the great Bob Marley is that he smoked marijuana. And he was much greater than that. So that is a, an example, a prime example of the sensationalization of street drugs, Wiz Khalifa, Lil Wayne, all of these uh, controlled-minded people that just... You know, I, I, I do what I want to do. I smoke this. I do that. They are promoting and getting our children addicted to drugs and getting them addicted to habits that they can't afford. Thus, they will be breaking in homes, robbing people and whatever else they have to do in order to feed that addiction. So this is not just their problem. It's our problem. This is Brother Johnny of Groove 19 Promotions out of Manning, South Carolina. Sincerely thanking everyone for tuning in. This is our first time. We're going to hold on to this broadcast on YouTube. I usually do this broadcast on TwitCam, uh, Talking 19. If you would like to go to the 19report.weebly.com and check it out, I will certainly appreciate it. Leave questions and comments. Hey, it's going down, Brother Johnny Groove 19 Promotions. Thanks again.